I don't just have a canary yellow fur robe. I wish. Hi, my name is Jordan. Hey, I'm Debian, and this week we will be recreating our favorite Met Gala looks. The Met Gala is literally the Super Bowl of fashion. I feel like people go all out with the Met Gala. The look I will be recreating is Kim Kardashian's wet look. So there is some debate over whether or not this look is actually camp. However, I do think that it is like a beautiful look. The look I'm recreating is a bright yellow look that Rihanna wore for the 2015 Met Gala. And the theme that year was China Through the Looking Glass. She's one of the few celebrities that came to a China Through the Looking Glass themed Met Gala actually wearing a Chinese designer. And the piece took like two years to make. This isn't going to be all DIY, but I definitely have to get creative. Shopping my closet, buying some stuff, and then putting it all together. I went online to Skims and I bought a dress from Kim's line. This is not my skin color, but it's gonna be okay. So I went to Michael's and I bought some goodies that we're gonna use. I thought that I didn't get this, which is arguably the most important part I needed. Oh no, it's fine, we have everything. Thanks, Michael. One thing I noticed with Brianna's look is that even though it's mostly canary yellow, she does have a bit of pink showing. I do have these hot pink shorts that I got from a secondhand store. I feel like this could work because technically you don't really see what's underneath. You just see like a peak and I know I have a pink corset top. This is just some of my shoes. I think these could work. They're not as fancy. They have a similar design at the top though. I'm happy I was able to find a lot of pieces in my closet, but like I don't just have a canary yellow fur robe. I wish. I'm gonna try looking online and I'm gonna try looking in person and hopefully between the two, I'll come up with something. This was the best I could do at the thrift store. I went to secondhand shops. I went to thrift stores and this is the closest I could get. This is my Met Gala look. I have typed in thick yellow robe faux fur and this one, I think this one is amazing. This wig will do the job because she has like a burgundy red bob and it's like flipped out kind of 60 style. I like this. Okay, as far as Rihanna's accessories, especially the headpiece, I just have not found a whole dragon type thing. I just haven't found it, or maybe it's just not in my tax bracket at the moment. But I feel like these, this pack is cool. It's a seven piece goddess leaf headband, Greek goddess bridal hairband. I'm really into 333 and Co because it started by a woman I know, and it's a YouTube icon, Amber Scholl. I love her. Amber's really inspired me a lot when it comes to like fashion and DIYs and I've learned so much from her YouTube videos. So the one that I would love to do is this one. It is ah, but what if it does? It's like one of Amber's essential quotes. Y'all. He's Amber! Hi guys! My biggest piece of advice for recreating Rihanna looks is what she does the best is her confidence and her essence is just so fire. She always says, what's that famous quote that she said? You know, you can't always beat them, but you can always beat, beat her their outfit. outfit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the confidence, it's the essence. I chose this one because <laughs> I feel like it has the whole spirit of like, oh. dreams come true, oh, and yeah. that gala is very yeah. dreams come true. People in the entertainment, it's cool to see like dreams come true. So, Rihanna, me, anyone, you can do a kiss. We have the dress, we have the little spool of thread. This dress has like a waist in it. So I think that's where I'm gonna start the ruching. Now we're ready to ruch. God, <gasps> the straps are in the way. I'm gonna try the dress on. Hopefully, hopefully it fits. It kind of looks okay. It's ripping. Where I sewed it, it's ripping. Now, what we need to do is give our little shimmer. We're gonna go through and take these and string them to the bottom of the dress. So I also have these like giant ones. Just like give some variety. So these ones are like big. Make sure it's like on there snug. Under the dress, I'm going to tie it. Look at that. I am a genius. And we're just gonna add a bunch. Okay, I don't think it looks that good like right now, but I think on it's gonna look really good. 
And her makeup was very pretty, very soft, and it was more emphasis on eyeliner, which I can definitely do. Her eyebrow is like one straight line, and I don't know how to do that. So far, I feel like I've done a pretty good job when it comes to like the hair and makeup. I couldn't get a dragon, but I did find this gold headpiece. So this is the necklace, and it's so cute. Ah, but what if it does? Maybe one day I'll end up at the real Met Gala, and not just this makeshift one in my apartment. I have this setting spray, but it is glittery. So I'm gonna start by just spraying this all over myself. Do I look glittery? She is wearing kind of like a nude lip. On top of the glitter, she is having kind of like a smoked out eye. I'm feeling Kim K right now. I love, like the makeup obviously is like not <laughs> what I would do for makeup, but for this look, for the theme, for camp, I think it looks great. I think it's ready. Let's do it. Let's try it on. The grand finale, we're ready for the yellow, the feathers, the fur. This is sexy. I feel like a sexy ass chicken nugget. Definitely a Met Gala moment. The faux fur, like it works. You see a little pink at the top, but like not really. I think it looks really good. I think I look wet, which is the point. I think one of the cool parts of Met Gala is that people who go, they probably dreamed of going. Like, they probably watched the celebrities and the stars of the past going to the Met Gala and thought, like, what if I could be there? And I feel like trying on this outfit was kind of like my way of hopefully manifesting going to the Met Gala one day. Who knows, maybe it could happen. Ah, but what if it does? You never know. I can't wait to be there one day. Anna Wintour, if you're out there, send a boy an invite. 